Hi everybody, welcome back to our collab channel, The Burb Rights Fighters. And for today's video, um, we're going to be reacting to Bird Abusing TikToks Part 2. Um, and if you haven't watched the Part 1, uh, it will be in uh, the description. Um, and yeah, Matilda will not be joining us again because she um, uh, is a little busy currently. So it's just going to be me and Davia who's going to react to it. Um, so yeah, sorry that we haven't um, uploaded in a while. We were just a little bit busy in our, um, in our lives. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to be sharing the screen. Mommy. A mí me gusta tu descendencia entera. ¿Por qué? Porque ella me da. La mamá de 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 la mamá. So yeah, that's the first TikTok. Um, and what's wrong with it is that the cockatoo is in a round, small cage, and it's like too small for a cockatoo. Um, uh, yeah, and there is one dull perch, the cage is way too small, the cage is covered, and I think there are stainless steel bowls, but the bowls kind of look small to me, like smaller for a cockatoo. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, um, I'll screen share the next one. So you can see here um, the budgies. There are two budgies, and they are sitting on a dowel perch. However, it does say in the bottom right here, we got the birds in the cage. Still an empty cage, but we are fixing that. So maybe they are gonna add some more toys soon. So if they are gonna add a little bit toys, they should also add some natural perches. But if they're going to add plastic toys, I recommend that they add shredding toys and stuff. And maybe a bigger cage too. Okay, so I, uh, the cage is actually pretty small for two veggies. I think it would be a little bit fine if it was just for one. Because birds need the biggest cage possible. And yeah, the natural purchase should be added. Uh, Looks like they are using only dowel and plastic perches. There are no toys and the food bowls are plastic. And if you don't know, then plastic is actually very bad for the bird. Uh, plastic can collect bacteria very easily, which can cause bacterial infections and other stuff. So I think it's kind of like not a very good setup. And I don't know for how long it takes their bird out of their cage. Uh, the birds look very new to me and they look very spread out. So I don't know why, but it doesn't feel right to me to like directly be in contact with the bird. Like, uh, like it will make them more stressed out because they're very new and they don't know anything. Yeah, so um, I'm going to share a screen. Um, um, I'm going to share a screen the next TikTok now. Yeah, so um, what's wrong with that is... There is a dog there, um, and it's like smelling around the cage. And true, the birds are inside the cage, so the dog can't get to them. 
but the birds may get stressed and that won't be very good yeah and uh i think that's the first time when the dog is actually looking for the birds that are inside the cage because that's what the title says uh i think the title says that my dog meets bird in the cage for the first time or something like that but i it's like the first time for the dog to see birds in the cage and the bird i mean the dog is kind of like smelling around the cage like kelly said uh, which can actually make birds pretty stressed out because uh the dog is seeing for the birds for the first time and even if it looks like the dog would attack the dog could get panic anytime and could attack the cage and uh what if the dog attacks on the tail of the birds that are coming out of the cage first the dog could get their tails and the wings maybe i'm not sure because uh i uh there are some of the dogs that live in my garden there's one puppy and from what i know it's that puppies play even more harsh than dogs do and you never know what's going to happen so maybe don't allow your dogs to interact with your bird or do like smell the birds because it could be really really stressful for the birds because the way the dog smelling is like the dog wants to attack the bird uh, and the birds are really smart they could sense when the dog is in a mood of attacking so uh it's actually wrong and the birds could get very stressed and they could start plucking their feathers and a lot of things could happen okay um i'll share screen the next one Okay, uh, so the cage is pretty small. It looks like a traveling cage that most of the people uh, people use for traveling purpose. And the cage is really small for any bird, and it was written a perfect cage for any parakeet. How is that even supposed to be perfect? It's not even good. It's actually very, very, very bad. Like uh, they had doll perches, very bad plastic toys, no good toys no natural purchase and plastic with bow and a very small cage it is never supposed to be a good cage it's actually a very 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 bad cage the the birds are not even supposed to live in cage like that they couldn't even move they could just jump from one place to the bars because they only have one perch and other stuff uh like it's a pretty bad cage setup. I don't like it. It's it's very small. It's like no good perches, only one doll perch and yeah. Yeah. So the cage was very, 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 very very small. I don't think the the budgie can even spread its wings. Um and it was had one doll perch, which is bad. One plastic toy, which is also bad, plastic food, uh, food containers, and if you looked at what she poured in the for the food, it was plain old seed. So that's also not good. And it, if the weird part says, if you saw the title, the perfect cage setup for any parrot. Yeah, that's not perfect. Okay, oh. so I'll share screen the next one. Yeah, it's a round cage. It's a small cage for that bird. I'm not sure what type of bird it is, but the setup isn't very good. Yeah, uh, I think it's pretty common in most of the videos, like the first one. And I think most of the people don't know how to set up the cage for the birds. Like, they don't research before getting any birds. 
uh, I see many people doing that on Instagram and many other apps on Google every time. Uh, like their cage is not good enough for their birds. They use breeding pots and stuff. They don't research. They think it's that they don't research. And when you try to give them advice, they go crazy on you. Like, who are you to advise us? Like, why? Why don't this understand and research before getting any bird? Like, the cage was way too small. It was made up of net or meddling net. And the cage didn't have any good birches, no good toys, and nothing good. It was a very bad setup. No hate. Yeah. Okay, so next video. <laughs> Do laugh when you're like, I don't know if that's the effect or that's the person who is laughing, but whoever, like, even if they use the effect, why did they use the laughing effect? Like, they should have put a clip on the cage doors because, uh, like, if bird got out one, it could get out another time too. So you should uh, lock the door of the cage and the cage setup again wasn't anything good. It had bed purchase, no good toys, uh, breeding box and so if they're uh, going to like uh, lay eggs their birds are going to lay eggs where will they keep those birds are did they even research before getting their birds or before doing that stuff uh, I, I don't understand why a lot of people don't research before getting their birds like we have seen like there were six or five TikToks and all those people had bad cage setup like literally all they didn't have any good cage setup and I didn't find anything good in there so it's rather dangerous like especially since we have proof that the lovebird can escape from there the birds can slip out there and then they could also get hurt doing that and they could get hurt if they slip out with you not noticing. Yeah. So. And for example, if the case door, like the, it's the bird, for example, my hand. And the bird opened the door. This is the door. And what if the door literally just slips on the bird's back or on the neck of the bird? It's going to hurt very badly. And then uh, it might even need a surgery that will cost you even more. Yo, so yeah, thanks for watching um, this video and uh, make sure that you subscribe to um, this channel as well as um, our individual channels. Matilda's is known as Bird TV, Lavia's is known as Birdie Lovers, and mine is Candice T. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.